Hello and welcome back to the Makuma MC Prisons. Today, I've got a banger because I have somehow found a way to break the server. Number one, I'm gonna go and keep this up because I don't want to show you the tokens that I've made. Now, if you didn't see the last video, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you the rundown. We showed off the AFK Miner and we threw, I believe, 10 minutes of fuel? Or no, 5 minutes of fuel? I believe it was five minutes of fuel into him. It went up from five minutes all the way up to almost 20 minutes in that time. And then I stepped away and we went back to mining. I ended up uh, standing there for roughly up to about five minutes and made, uh, I think, around 100 trillion tokens, which is insane. Now, that time has only gotten crazier as it is now at 17 days. I did add a 30 minute fuel since then, but other than that, I have not added any fuel i have not purchased any i have not touched him at all other than upgrading him i have maxed him out which cost me probably around i'd say 50q i have made a lot more since then now this is not the full amount that i have made because i went ahead and did a little bit of an experiment and on let's see on friday i believe around 2 p.m i went ahead and spent all of my tokens on my robots and then I didn't claim anything from robots now I did open some things so I'm gonna take away let's say about 4q either way I've made 60q from this guy just since then and that's not you know standing there for you know since 2 p.m. to now which is 3 p.m. on a Sunday but that is still insane I made well over I'd say 200q from this guy you can also see at the bottom I am level 194 on my pickaxe which means I have access to guardians beam and I will soon have access to quiver now I only need 15q to max out guardians beam so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now like I said I did go ahead and open a bunch of things um I'm over $20 in my uh, coupons which is awesome I saved a few things and a few of them are not going to be useful. I don't think I'm going to mess with tier 1 attachments. I'm well above tier 1. But the rest of these I'll go ahead and open now. Because they will help us out on our mining adventures. A lot of these I'm going to just kind of spam through. So we don't have to worry about it. That is a quiver attachment. Tier 3. Which is actually going to be super useful for today. Seeing as we're going to unlock a quiver. I'm glad I didn't open any of the diamond ones. Because look how much they get me. I would have had to have marked off so much. I had a realization, right? The only skin tokens I hadn't gotten were Reaper. And I thought for a minute that Reaper might have been just a really good, very hard to get one. No. I opened up some common skin boxes and immediately got a stack and well, there. I'm up to level 4 on Reaper from level 2. Other than that, I've got these Masterful Pet Eggs. Now, I did buy a bunch of these pet fragments. Like I said, um, it cost me probably like 10q. Um, I got enough that I can upgrade this to Masterful and this to Masterful. That is if I don't get Masterful out of these, so let's go ahead and see what I get. Although, actually, with the levels I have into it, I should just go ahead and upgrade these, right? I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this guy to Masterful, and then I'm gonna do the same for this guy. And that leaves me with five more fragments, which for now, I'll actually put them up in PV2 with my other pets. It just makes the most sense. That is all my openables, other than things that I'm not worrying about now. I want to activate one of these boosters for five minutes. I'll activate a double token for 30 minutes. I will also go ahead and vote so that I can get a double pickaxe XP booster as well. You'll probably get me rank up progress, which actually is something that I need. So I'm thinking 171 gems into this guy. Sorry, 100, 171 levels into this guy. A shit ton of gems. I want to try and make some huge progress. I'd like to... Oh, hey, Guardians, babe. I'd like to get to 500 today, if possible, uh, on my rank, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. I, I don't know. Oh, well, if these lads get involved, it might be possible. Look at them go. I was going to say I needed six more levels, but I need five and part of a level before I can get to the next enchant, which is... I can't remember. Quiver. Oh, you know what else? I have a bunch of rune points. I haven't touched runes in a minute. The only thing is, it's just a lot. You know, it's a lot. Maybe once my enchant uh, booster runs out, I'll go ahead and do it. I'm not too worried about the token and the pickaxe XP booster as much. Um, because, I mean, I can get a bunch. I could roll through literally a stack of freaking boosters and, and just be set, but... I just choose not to because it would take way too long. I'm making a lot of gems. I just looked away, looked over. I have 24 million. It's a level of this, but I could save up 67 for more levels of, uh, of geyser. Or, or, sorry, not geyser. Frozen Gorge. I need to get more orbs. Like, the only thing that I'm trying to work on right now is armor, which actually, now that I think about it, starting with gem was probably not the best decision. Nah, I guess it was. Like, I mean, 
Pickaxe XP could have been pretty cool. Maybe I should be leaning more into Pickaxe XP again. I mean, Orfinder is proccing a good bit, and these guys are demolishing my mind. I love Shadow Cloud. Absolutely love it. Big fan, big fan. You know what? It's, uh, I probably got about 20 or so seconds left on it. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll for a few runes. Uh, not merge. Up oh, there it goes. Let's forge a few of these. Now, I can't do rebirth because I'm not rebirth, but I can do a bunch of these. And, uh, I'm just gonna... Can I salvage these? I can't remember if I can salvage these, actually. I did get some Zeus's Wrath, which I'm just kind of storing up in case I end up wanting to use it. Got Monorune, which is my absolute best. I guess my best is still just gonna be this one. Tier 3 uh, Monorune. Uh, you're still active? Good. For 39 more seconds. That's okay. So I did get a rune upgrade, which is pretty massive. I have a lot of gems, which, you know what? I will get another level of this. Why not? Oh, man. I mean, that is an insane proc boost. Or do I want the rank up boost? I don't know if I can get both. I am gonna get a little money spendy. I think it's a good idea. So that, if I go to crystals, is a rank up crystal boost of... 50%, which is way better than what I currently had. I do actually think I uh, have enough that I could buy that other thing that I wanted to get. I could. So let me throw that in the attachment slot over Jackhammer. So that is a 50% versus a 40%, which is not too huge of a boost, but it's enough. Maybe I do swap down to four pets. Probably not, though. I kind of like the three pet meta instead of having four. I don't know. If you play in the server, how many pets do you run at a time? Do you have a cycle? Do you do, like, three pets, four pets, five pets? I mean, to be fair, people probably use every single pet. I mean, other than the fact that I'm, uh, you know, just trying to fit into about an hour slot, I'm not trying to go over, people probably otherwise use a lot of pets. You know what I mean? Like, there's no reason not to. If you've got every single pet uh, masterful, you might as well run its ability for at least, you know, a little bit. And also, if you're new to the server, come join the number one prisons in Skyblock server of 2024. All the information is down in the description below. There is a massive, and I mean massive, prisons update right around the corner. It's going to be updated to one of the later versions of Minecraft. A lot of big changes, a whole new experience you won't want to miss out again. <clears throat> All the information down in the description. You know what? Let's go ahead and open a few things. Why not? Um, now, here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start off with the Mystery Bolts. They're good. They're- they're quick. Uh, I'll save the Pet Eggs, because I imagine I'm gonna get a bunch more. These, I know, give a bunch of random things. I actually don't even know. Let me see. Pet Eggs. Okay. Uh, let's just open a bunch of them, then. Let's try and keep up with all of these rewards. Attachment boxes. Robot Generous Pet Eggs. That was not gonna happen. I placed them way too fast. Yeah, good thing I waited on the, um... The pet eggs, because I got a bunch. Ooh, another gem finder tier 3. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. That, I believe, is an upgrade, because we already have one in here. And then on top of that, I've got one equipped it, so I can merge those and make a tier 4. This might be the most stacked I've ever been on prisons. Uh, epic gem robots <clears throat> and robot finders, which gave a bunch of robots. Oh my god, that's a lot of robots. Even though I, you know, am not upgrading my robots, it's still good to get robots because they do two things. One, they increase the total or the uh, the maximum level of your robots, and it does give a base value per robot of money earned or whatever kind of currency earned. Akuma rank, huh? Well, now, Akuma rank is one I kind of want to go ahead and actually hold on to because that is a really, really good rank. Well, that was a fun little distraction in the middle of this. That's not the PV I meant to open. I realized I didn't make much progress already. Uh, I'm like 40 minutes in, and I haven't made much progress because uh, I keep getting distracted by things, I think, but that's okay. I'm at the point where I'm making so many tokens by AFKing that I actually don't need to do anything else. Like, this is just becoming me get on, <laughs> open some things, max out an enchant, and then mine. This kind of melts my brain. If I just sit here and mine, it's like, what do I say for, you know, 50 minutes straight while I mine? It's it's a tough one. It, it will be a tough one. Oh, interesting. The gem one is different from this one. So it could just be five upgrades, and each one's going to have a different percent boost. The first upgrade of the gem armor gave me a 0 0.05 times, a 1.05 times multiplier. The first upgrade of the pickaxe uh, armor gave me a 0 0.10 times. Ooh, three more pickaxe levels. Be really cool if I could at least take a peek at it. 
Although, I know it's an expensive enchant. I, I think if I had kept the 100Q that I had earlier, the 180-something or 150-whatever-Q I had, I uh, wouldn't have been able to get it. I really need more XP. Please, more pickaxe XP. I just need some more. Are there any boosters I could buy? There uh, is none. It's really annoying. When you get disconnected, the momentum bar goes away, so you can't see it. So I don't know where I'm at. Ooh, I'm close to only needing two more levels. That's absolutely massive. Please just give me that, that next bit of experience. So three more procs, and I can upgrade my armor to the next tier, which should give it a 20% multiplier on uh, pickaxe XP, which is super massive. Ooh, one more proc, and I have enough. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I can't wait to slap that freaking armor upgrade on. Now it's 550 for it. It is a... Yes, a 1.20 times multiplier, which is 20% more uh, XP. Plus, on top of that, we have our other boost, another 20. So we're getting over 40%. One more level! Oh my god, I have not gone up high at all in ranks, guys. And keep in mind that we did get huge upgrades today for Jackhammer, which should be helping me rank up like crazy. I think I do keep this guy. It'd be a total of 26 minutes. But he does give me token boost, which is not the best. But he also does give me one extra layer of jackhammer, which is pretty freaking sick. I'm nearly there, guys. 200 is right around the corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and claim for my robots um, both token and gem. And I will see just how many levels I can actually get into it. I also want to stop by my AFK miner. I want to see if he gives me a huge boost of tokens. Sometimes when you're AFK in him, he'll uh, in his area, he'll mine uh and do his job but he won't give you some of the tokens like you'll step away step back and he'll just give you like one cube just out of nowhere for example a little bit nah i think that's from the initial mine so he doesn't really have anything for us that's okay i can get 15 levels into it already it's 30 q to max it out i would have been able to max it out with what i had i could probably go ahead and get that real fast so you know what there's nothing else i can do i think think to get a bunch of tokens at the moment i mean i could open up my other things this does give token packages but the main thing is it gives bad of this stuff yeah you can see actually with some things turned off these are a lot more manageable it's still just a lot i used to have to open up like 30 of these and then get ready for with salvage all but if you turn off a lot of the uh the, the rewards you don't have to worry about it and i'll probably end up using a lot of these explosives and stuff in my free time if i remember to i'm gonna do my best but it's a lot. I guess I should have sat in here and let him do his thing, huh? I mean, I can check robots again. You guys got no? Alright, not enough. Uh, well, that's okay. We won't max it out, but 23 out of 25 levels into it is absolutely massive. You'll have to wait till next time to see how just how good Quiver is. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Leave a like, subscribe for more, join the server, all the information down in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one.